Hey there, you YouTubers. This is the iRobot channel, and today I'm going to be showing you basically a tear down and put back together of the iRobot Roomba i series. Uh, this is in case you need to get to the clip sensors or the bumper sensors. So I'll show you how to take it apart. So this is the iRobot Roomba i series. This particular is the i7 model. Uh, it includes the i3, the i3 plus, the i4 plus, which Costco sell, used to sell, and the iRobot Roomba uh, um, i6, i6 plus, the i7 and i7 plus, and the eight, uh, i8 plus models. So, yeah, all i series models. So first what we're gonna do is pop the dustbin off. So I remove the dustbin, put the Roomba upside down, remove the side brush, go ahead and remove five screws holding the bottom plate to the Roomba body. Put the bottom plate somewhere else, remove the battery, put it somewhere else on the side there. I started removing all the modules from the Roomba itself. This includes the side brush motor module, the right side and the left side primary or main wheels. There's only two screws holding each one. Also start removing the cleaning head module. There's only four screws holding it in place. So we're going to the clean head module. Pop the front wheel caster off. And we're going to be removing the 10 screws that are holding the bottom part of the bumper. After removing those 10 screws, I'm going to pop the face plate of the Roomba. Now behind the face plate, there are 10 screws that are visible. And I need the faceplate. Basically, to pop the faceplate off, there's two um, slots or holes underneath. So you can push those with your fingers. Just pop it off. So you pop those up, remove that faceplate off. Here you got 10 screws located where you can see them. To get to the other two screws, you need to remove the, the handle. So, here, total here, I guess 12 screws are holding the plate, including the handle here. So, them off basically just lift the brackets off and take the handle off so, now we've got two screws hidden underneath here underneath the handle now the handle screws and the rest of the body top plate body here they all have the same size screws In total and overall here, there's 14 screws here, including the two that are on, on the handle. So 
basically you remove the top plate. Now the front bumper gets disconnected here from the connection point right there. All right. Now what we're left here is the heat sink. The heat sink has uh, screws, six screws that are holding it to the body itself. So to remove the main board or motherboard, you need to remove this heat sink out of the way. There's turbo paste on this, so be careful don't get all over the place. So also remove the switch. That goes to the dustbin. So here we're going to start by removing the wires that are going to the Wi-Fi antenna here. This gray wire is going from the camera and Wi-Fi module to the antenna wire here and then just a Wi-Fi antenna right there. So to remove the rear clip sensor, it's pretty easy. I'll show you how to do it. I'm just using a basic uh, plastic pry bar. You just lift it up slowly and then pop up your finger up. Remove that. Um, also disconnect the rear fit sensor on the left side here. Remove the wire. Pop the fit sensor off. Alright. There's only one wire that in, does not come off of the motherboard or main board is the this static discharge wire. Our ground wire, we go, which goes to this brush right here. So it has a special brush here that when you know, touches the ground, it makes sure make sure there's no static going to the room that is electronics so or sen sensitive to that. So if you do need to remove it, uh, it's pretty simple. You just have to desolder it and remove the wire. But we're not doing that today, so we're just gonna leave it plugged in. So we are gonna remove the the ribbon cable that goes to the optical sensor. So the optical sensor here is pretty much the same as a computer mouse, which tells the Roomba here at, uh, which way it's going, which way it's heading. It basically sends the information to the Roomba. So, one more screw to take up or off of the motherboard. It's the one that's holding this LED ring, plastic cover on. So, that screw gets removed. Now we slowly start to lift the main board up. So to remove the motherboard, our main board is just unplug all the wiring. It's that's basically your battery connector wire, your speaker wire here, then your light array wires and connectors. So to remove those and remove the business wires. All right. So here we have the light array that gets removed. And so pretty much left is with the clip sensors here and the the bumper actuators or bumper sensors. To remove that, uh, we'll start by removing the front bumper spring. The bracket here. 
Remove that guy. Then remove the spring. Now all the clip sensors can pop off. So put your finger on the and just slide it up. Then we unscrew the bumper actuators or bumper sensors. screws holding each bumper sensor. All right. Now there's the optical sensor unit that's basically covering the wire so you can't even pull the wire out. So what you gotta do is remove the cover off. Now to do that there are small little tabs. I wonder if you can see that right there. Small tabs that you have to push in through. There's three of them on each side. So you just push it in slightly. It pops off one side. Pops off the other side here. So three sides hit it. Inside this area, there's also in the optical part, there's also two tabs holding this bottom piece. Now, to do that, is just have to use your fingers or again for the plastic pry bar. sensors, so bumper sensors. That's how you remove it. So to put that together, same process in reverse. Make sure the from the connector, the bumper sensor that has the shorter wire it goes to the left side. The longer wire from the connector goes to the right side. Okay. So 
first we're going to start this by sliding in all the cliff sensors, snapping them into place. optical box in the right place here. I'm going to turn the light on so you guys can see. Alright, pops in. Put the, put the optical. Well, if you guys need to see inside, just in case, here's the, how it looks like inside. The optical controller. I'm gonna put it back inside here. Now to put it back on, you gotta make sure the ribbon goes into a special spot there so it doesn't get pinched in. And then you can go ahead and put the collar back on. And then to put it on, you have to make sure you go straight in. And it'll snap on together. Then you go ahead and put your bumper sensors on. Again, there make sure there is no wires going between the holes in the screw area so you don't damage any wiring. Go ahead and screw it back on. So there's two screws for each buffer sensor. Total of four screws. And make sure they're sitting properly. Nothing is in the way. Now we're going to start by screwing on the, or putting on the, the spring back on and screwing on the spring bracket. components back in. Great. So here we're going to be plugging in the bumper sensor. And this is the battery connector here. The battery connector gets plugged in. The bumper sensor right here. That's the big, big one right here. It's bumper sensor and cliff sensors. Alright. So we we'll also have the speaker connector here. Gotta make sure the guy gets plugged in. And then the 
light array. The light array is there is for making sure the Roomba doesn't hit anything hard. It slows down before it hits anything. There's a sense of something in front. Whereas the bumper is when it hits something. Then it basically tells the Roomba that something is there. Alright, so the light array is plugged in. Now go ahead putting everything back on. Make sure the ribbon cable goes through the slot of the frame itself and the motherboard or the main board. All right. All right. So and make sure everything's pushed down where it belongs. Go ahead and install the. Let's get switch back on. Alright. Also, we can install the ribbon cable back on for the optical sensor. Snap the lift tabs in. Let's get done with the ribbon cable. Put the, the spacer inside. Put the LED ring. Just like a diffuser. Let's put it back on. Screw it in. That one screw that holds the whole board together. And start play, you know, feeding or fishing the wires in. So this one is for the rear clip sensor and here's another one for the rear clip sensor. Okay. The gray wires there is for your Wi-Fi antenna. So and fish this wires in. So the Wi-Fi antenna gets plugged in to the antenna part of the Wi-Fi module, which is right there. All right. So you put it flat on, it all snaps in. There you go, snapped in there. So you know you're good. Now I need to cover the port. I think this is the uh, service. Port. Port. I, I roll the repair center. Um, you gotta make sure that the discharge wire or static discharge wire or ground wire is pushed in away. So when we put our top cover on, it doesn't stick out. our heat sink on. Got to make sure there's no wires in the way. Go ahead and screw those screws back on. There's uh, for all the six screws holding the heat sink.
So now we're going to be putting on our plug in, plug it in the, the bumper. Sensor. So, well, it's actually a duct sensor. Uh, anyways, yeah, I put the bumper, plug it in, leave it on the back. Place the handle on, and all you gotta do is uh, pull the tabs back. So you pull them back so you can slide it in. And it snaps back in place. Now you get two more screws to put on. And we gotta make sure the tabs of the of the bumper they're in correct spots so the bumper doesn't come off later when it's active. And uh, the bottom piece of this bumper it gets 10 screws to put in. Ten screws are on the bumper. It is done deal. And then what we need to do is uh, start putting the modules back on. You can put the face cover on now or later. It doesn't matter. It just pops in. You don't have to screw on to it. So this way already upside down here. Start putting. It all of my modules in for the front wheel caster here, the left wheel, the right wheel, the side brush motor, and the clean head module. Well, everything gets snapped in. So, the side brush. Motor module only has two screws in to screw in. The main wheels also have each uh, two screws to, to screw on. That's it. And the cleaning head module has uh, four screws. Yeah. 
plate on. There's five screws to tighten up and that's it. Also have the side brush we need to screw on. We can install the dust bin. Thanks for watching. Uh, this is uh, my iRobot channel.